All right, Jesse, let's take a look at one of your runs from this weekend on Plummet. Um, we'll watch it first in regular motion and uh, slow it down. Yeah, pretty good run, I think. Let's take a look uh, up closer here. Pretty good there. Nice little retraction. Looks like you're getting some, bringing some shape back to the pole. The direction done. So staying ahead of it here. Hairpin. Yeah, nice strong exit. Got your feet some room. What I like about that is, uh, you know, looking ahead. I mean, I think, uh, you know, the gate is somewhere. It's, it's right there. and But you're looking ahead. And this is something we talked about last year, that we can't see gate to gate when we're actually clearing a pole. We have to be make sure we're not staring at it, and we should be already looking on to the next and down the hill. And yeah, you are. I mean, here and you know, obviously here's the pole, you know, right there. You're about ready to clear it, but you know, you're looking on to the next one. That's great. Come in here, you clear that pole. You ain't looking at it. You're looking at this one right here. Again, looking ahead nicely. The only thing I was saying this day on, on a couple of the runs were, um, you know, if we can get just a little more above it, um, you know, it would help. I mean, that's the key thing on any steeps and offset like this is to bring a shape back to the pole, um, being above it, get everything done above so we have a quick release, you know, after. And, you know, you still have, you know, looks like, you know, kind of half the turn above here, apex at the pole, you know, kind of half below. You know, we could raise that up, bring your line up the hill a little bit more. It would help. Here coming in again, you know, fair amount right there below the gate. Same here, hitting the pole uh, right now. Skis are basically going, you know, right down the hill, it looks like. Prefer to have, have them, you know, a little more direction done, heading off to the next apex area. So, you know, which presents us to have a little bit of work to do below. Certainly in the front of the boot, ankle flexion. You know, it's nice to see, you know, the back basically, you know, the same angle as the knee, which is, I like to see. That's pretty good. Just, just being above it a little bit more, you know, would help. Here you come in, you know, it looks to be, you know, kind of a little, little direct. And so you're finishing the turn there. 
when the pole is is here and um, you know so there's, there's a bit of a space there you know we would love to have that thing you know if you brought a little more shape to it um, got outside rise line I mean it looks like you kind of started the turn maybe too early you're starting it here where do you go nowhere you got to go straight now to get by it so if you're a little more patient just brought that out a little bit more and arced it back to the pole so you can release there but you can't release till you know right there and that just sets you up probably a little too straight for this one so we're kind of you know apex at the pole and kind of the same there probably going in a little too direct starting maybe a little too early you know, from that position, it looks to me like, you know, you really can't arc much of a turn, so you have to kind of, because you started too soon, go straight, 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 and now, now you can turn once you get by the pole. Same here, kind of going, looks to me like you're going straight there as opposed to getting yourself up a little bit higher in the rise line above that first one, setting yourself up for to run this thing, you know, fairly straight except for the exit. But because of that, you come in direct here, and then you're not really in a position, so you had to kind of, instead of arcing this thing, you had to kind of throw them sideways here and toss them a little sideways there. We should be clean arcing this thing. Get up above it a little bit more and then like rip through this thing but give our feet some room on this exit yeah but overall I mean good skiing, the skiing great you know, let's just kind of have to maintain that elevation in the rise line above the pole uh, throughout the entire run uh, one or two arcs when they lengthen all of a sudden we lose that elevation and we're fighting below a bit. Apex drops to the pole, but the uh, the quicker we can uh, release the ski, the better. So we got to get it done from from above. But uh, overall, great skiing and uh, good luck at Killington.